So Shanti, the question of um, stillness and uh, observing your situations and doing nothing to create a foundation, I can understand, but there's also the element of uh, I run a business, I have to do things to be successful, create abundance, to be a, a good husband. How do you do nothing but also take action that's necessary to create that abundance? Yes. So people have idea doing nothing is emptiness. So this is the book that you will be getting and it explains zero is infinity because in order to get anything you have to be empty so emptiness is preparation for receiving if your cup of tea is full it cannot take any more so what we do is we are filling our cup and then we want to receive there is no room what we try to do is we force our will on universal will. Force our will, that means you are individual, you have limited consciousness, and you are fighting against cosmic consciousness. It's just like you are very strong and you are hitting the wall. Wall would survive, your hand would be damaged. So this is the idea, what do you do? Instead of fighting the wall, what would you do? Remove the wall. <laughs> okay. What is the wall? Wall is limitation. Wall is created by the mind. Wall is created that I am separated. Wall is I am alone. Everything is against me. So the world is not against me. Think the terms. You know the other book, Dynamic Quantum Transformation, mm -hmm. that everything and everyone is connected. When you realize that, all the walls fall away. You think yourself connected. As soon as you think like that, and the preparation is relaxing so you can think along the line, so you let go that I am connected with all the living creatures. All the living creatures are extension of me. And in this book it explains scientifically there is no separateness. Entire universe is interconnected. Everyone and everything is interconnected scientifically with quantum physics is proven. So recognize that. So whatever you desire, instead of fighting it, open up and throw it in the space. And then don't worry about it. Once you project, you don't have to do anything. It just itself will work through the atmosphere, through the Akash, and it will come in your way. And whatever comes your way, recognize and use it instead of waiting. So waiting is like, you know, the story probably standard story you heard. Somebody had so much devotion to God and the flood came. He was waiting for God to come and save him. Then he died. Then he went to heaven. Why didn't you help me? He says, I came with a boat to rescue you, but you never came on the porch. Then I came with helicopter, sent somebody with helicopter to rescue people on the roof. You never went on the roof. You hid inside. Mm -hmm. So this is the idea. So inspiration comes, we act on it. We waste so much energy thinking about the results. This is Karma Yoga. Karma ne vadi karaste ma phale su kadachana. Ma karma phala heturbu mate sangostve tu a karmani. Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, you have a right, you have control over action but not control over reaction. So don't think about the reason. This is all the energy gets wasted. Mm -hmm. See, so only put positive effort and then relax. Do whatever you need to do, throw away. 
all the effort you are doing is only destroying your energy. So instead of that, recharge yourself, relax and surrender. Surrender means attunement. So you visualize God as Supreme Consciousness. Ultimately, God doesn't have any form. God is universal, everything, everywhere. Well, Brahman or unified field of consciousness, you are part of it. You are like a wave in the cosmic ocean. Realize, instead of hanging on your form as I am a wave, then you feel separated. But remember, you are connected with the ocean. Before you became a wave, you were the ocean. Up during wave form, you are the ocean. When you dissolve, you are the ocean. That means birth, before birth, during life, and after death, we are always connected. So just remembering that. That means be opened. So simplest meditation, I put in few words. Later on we do meditation. Yes, after you relax, close your eyes, be, feel comfortable. Feel your body to be porous. In reality, body is porous. Though it looks solid, there are all the cells in the body breathing. So just close the eyes and then just feel. As you breathe in, universal energy comes into me, comes into the reflection of God, within the heart and as you breathe out let the breath go out through the nostrils and through all the pores of skin and all the impurities all the physical burdens all the mental burdens everything disappears continue repeating so that you feel that connection this is called surrender surrender is not being defeated or giving up Surrender means attunement. God has six divine qualities in the book. God is called Bhagavan. You know, just, just any form you visualize. Aishwarya, Virya, Yasha, Sri, Gnana and Vairagya, six qualities. That means all the qualities of strength, wealth, power, beauty, control everything, at the same time not attached to anything. That means it happens in the medium of God. We absorb those qualities. So every time you practice surrender, you are charging yourself instead of beating yourself. This creating limited ego, you are doing this. In the world, everywhere you go, you come across all kind of people, you know, going on. Everyone teaches, do this technique, follow this, follow this. More they are following, they are covering up more. Instead of surrender, they get more into cocoon. So open up. Let go of all other things. Nobody can do anything. Others can only inspire. I can be a mentor to guide you. But you have to awaken yourself. Before, before you end. Yes. So if you're in the middle of a fight with your significant other, you should retract and center yourself? Exactly. Matter of fact, if you observe the breath and do nothing, you will create the distance. The impulsive act, action usually people do. Instantaneously, they think, speak, and then once the arrow is shot, it cannot be taken away. So that time allows you to reflect and then you have sense. So instead of reacting, you can act constructively.